Hello everybody, my name is Jeremy C and I'm going to do a Construct 2 tutorial for you real quick, simple. Um, it's understanding tile maps. Uh, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to create your new project. Um, you can fill in all this mess. This has gone over in many, many, many tutorials. Uh, so basically what we need to do is we need to go to our projects. Uh, we're going to select our layout one. We're going to go insert new object. We're going to insert uh, tile map and then as you can see we're on layer zero uh, since there is no other layer as you can see this tile map here has no offset of y no offset of x also has no spacing of y or x um, x is across y is down just for uh, reference so if you're trying to figure out how your tile map goes in here this is x is across and y is down okay so we're going to insert a tile map We'll take our Kenny uh, tile map. Thank you, Kenny NL. Um, so if you need to get uh, some nice uh, templates, uh, Kenny has quite a few free to use. Uh, just make sure you give credit. And okay, now what we need to do is we need to figure out how big our tiles are and how big our uh, our offsets are. We have an offset of Y. We have an offset of X. We also have a spacing of X and a spacing of Y. So in order to find those, what we need to do is we need to go control and our mouse wheel up, which will zoom in. Then what we need to do is we need to go over here to our top corner because we need to get both the um, X and the Y. So we're going to start over here on our uh, block. And as you can see, I'm using the rectangular tool. And in the bottom corner, you can see that it moved over and it says 6 is our spacing for our X. And if we go up here and we select here and we move to the top, you can see it also is 6. So our offset is 6 by 6. So we're going to offset 6 on, on, our, on our X. We're going to go offset 6 on our Y. Next, what we need to do is we need to find out our spacing between the two. So what we need to do is we go from the block to the bottom of the block. And as you can see, it's saying it's a 4. So that this going up and down is our Y. So our Y off spacing, or not X, or uh, I've got to bring it in the screen. Our Y spacing is 4. And now if we scroll over here, we go between them. We start on the block itself and move over to the outside of the block. And as you can see, it also is a 4. So our spacing is going to be 4 and our offsets are 6. Now um, what we need to do is we need to scroll out. So control mouse wheel down. As you can see now we can see our full block. Uh, what you want to do is you want to find the block that is the most square in order to get the most accurate count on how big your uh, tile is. And using your mouse, uh, um, your rectangular tool go to the bottom corner of your block and go to the very top corner of your block like so and as you can see my tile is 32 by 32 that's how big the tile is and as you can see it's already set for 32 by 32 so that's how you check to see if your tile set is good and if you go in here you'll notice that this has a spacing in here that is blue and you're like, uh, uh, how do I fix that? Well, the only way to fix that spacing is to actually go in and hand edit the tiles because it's actually part of the tile set. There's nothing you can do about it, um, really, unless you wanted to uh, shrink everyone down by one more and offset it that way. Um, that's the only other way I know of doing it. Um, so... I'm going to leave that as is, and as you can see, we're going to sit here and we're going to take it across, and as you can see, that spacing does show up no matter which set of tiles that you use. So uh, basically what you need to do is you need to go in and edit it so that you remove the top and to the side, and that would get rid of that extra spacing. But that's not what this tutorial was about. This tutorial is about how do you figure out how big your tile uh, map is. I will show you a set of tiles that works 
just fine the way that they uh, were intended to. So we'll click off on that, and we'll go insert new item, and we'll go insert tile map on the same layer, open, and over here on my desktop I have my tiles that I put together myself. And as you can see I have a spacing of 2 by 2 and they are set at uh, um, 32 also. And if we go in here where it says Y spacing and X spacing and change that to 2 and to 2. Now when I take my tiles and I put them on the screen you'll see that they line up perfectly side by side. Okay, so that's basically how to do the tiles. If you needed to delete tiles, you could uh, hold down the right mouse and just erase all the tiles that you put on. If you're trying to erase tiles that are from another tile map, you can't do it without selecting that tile map. So what you have to do is you have to off select and you need to change to the other tile set. Oh, offset tile map. And now, as you can see, we're back to Kenny. Now I can do the right mouse and erase them. Okay. So um, by holding down the left mouse and just running, you can add as many tiles as you need. Um, right mouse, hold it down, and delete as many tiles as you need. You can do individual tiles by right mouse or left mouse, depending on what you're trying to do. Also, again, uh, when selecting your tile maps, if you're on one, you'll have to offset and then select the tile that you want, and voila. Okay. Okay, why are you having so much fun with me tonight? Oh, I was erasing. Uh, I was having way too much fun. I do that sometimes. Okay, so as you can see, um, it doesn't really matter what your tile set is. Not all tile sets are created equally, um, so some will have spacing in them, some will not. Um, it's all about understanding how to get your dimensions for your tile sets. You'll also find out some tile sets are 38, some sets are 42, some are 68, and so forth. So um, you will have to play around with them in order to get them to work properly for you. And again, it's not all uh, tile maps are created equally as you can see um, by the two that I have on here um, do not go over here to project offset go back to the Kinney set and like I said it doesn't matter if I put this one out there and the one that's next to it as you can see it still has that little line in there okay so you guys have a great one. Enjoy. This has been Jeremy C. Signing off.